Welcome to Meyer Eats. Today we're making shu, a French pastry commonly used in cream puffs and eclairs. While the name certainly sounds intimidating, this light eggy pastry comes together quickly with pantry staples. First you'll need two teaspoons sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt, four eggs, one stick of unsalted butter, one cup of all-purpose flour leveled, half cup water, and a half a cup of milk. To a saucepan, combine diced butter, liquids, sugar, and salt. Heat until your butter is melted and the mixture begins to simmer. Now add your one cup of flour and mix over low heat using your spatula to press the dough along the bottom and sides of the pan to ensure the flour is fully incorporated and gently cooked for about one minute. Add the warm dough to the bowl of your stand mixer and allow to cool. Set aside and crack your eggs and whisk them together. The color of the yolks is what brings color to this pastry dough. Using home-raised eggs from your backyard chickens will ensure the dough is a nice bright yellow. Using a paddle attachment, we're going to slowly add the eggs to the dough. Add a small splash of your egg mixture and allow the egg to become fully incorporated before adding more. Soon your mixture will transition from a dough to a thick, pipeable consistency. Reserve a small amount of beaten eggs for egg wash later. Your dough is complete, and now it's time to make the cream puff shells. Transfer the shoe pastry dough into a piping bag. You can also use a Ziploc bag with a cutoff corner. Line a sheet pan with parchment paper, then brush lightly with water. This will help allow the pastries to steam while cooking. I'm also using a silicone sheet underneath to help gauge the size of my cream puffs. Pipe the mixture into roughly two inch circles. Dip your finger in water and smooth down the peaks, then lightly brush with egg wash. Transfer to an oven preheated to 400 degrees for 20 minutes, then reduce your oven temperature to 350 degrees for 10 to 15 more minutes until golden brown. Allow them to cool completely. Split open the pastry and fill with homemade whipped cream or your favorite filling. This would be an excellent way to use lemon curd. You can find our recipe linked in the description below. You can also poke holes in the pastry and pipe the filling inside. Top with powdered sugar and enjoy!